What's up? What's cracking? In the fix and flip business, we are going to be in a situation where we're utilizing leverage, right? Or lenders. And, and that can get scary. It can get scary because you're taking a loan out, right? Now, a lot of times we're going to be using private money or we'll use hard money lenders. So they're non-recourse recourse loans, meaning if things go bad, we're not, they're not going to come and take our home for it, right? Um, which, is, which is great. There's no personal guarantee there, but still, still, it's still a stress. It's still, how do we, how do we know we're not going to get stuck in the middle of a project where the market completely flips upside down on us and, and now we're upside down on our house. How, how, do, we, how do we know, um, how, how do we hedge against that? So first and foremost, I wanna explain something that I've been noticing in the market. Normally, the real estate market, like uh, uh, other markets, stock market and things of that nature, takes on a cyclical pattern, right? We all know that you get these, these uh, spurts of increase and then you get uh, decreases, it increases, it decreases and it, and it takes on a wave function, it looks like a wave, right? Now, the reason why that happens is because typically what, it, what the real estate market is being controlled by are the individuals, the home buyers and their appetites, right? So if all of a sudden we've got uh, a, a plethora of inventory on the market, we know that we're gonna have price depression right? Because we've got so many options to choose from buyers. They, they, they can name their price. We know that things are a little bit softer. So we start to see prices start to decline. But what I can say has been happening since the last 10 years, because I've been watching home, new home start trends and new home start trends have been on the decline, meaning we're not building enough new homes to satisfy the appetite for what the American public needs in terms of absorption of new inventory. We're not, we're not, and we're in fact, we're at a quarter or less of what we should be for new, for new construction home starts. So that's the first reason why we have an inventory crisis right now. Second reason we have an inventory crisis right now, because we just came out of, or are still kind of dealing with the coronavirus pandemic where we were all locked in our homes for a year and a half. And what ended up happening with a lot of people is they saw parts of their living situations that were not ideal. And so we had this great migration happen after people started returning back to the market where people were trading property, moving into larger properties, or they were leaving the markets that they were living in because they no longer had to live and work in the same area. Many people were able to change their job positions to virtual. And because of that, they, they decided to move to virtual to different markets because it wasn't necessary for them to stay in the same city that they were working in. On top of that, many people just decided to change career paths. If you guys have been watching what's been happening in restaurants and other service industries, we are having a shortage of people out there available to work. It's in every, it's in every industry right now. In every industry right now, people are saying we don't have people showing up to work. Where did all the people go? Where did they go? If they had to have done, they've got to be doing something for their money, right? They've got, not everybody, not everybody started an online business. Not everybody became a wholesaler. Not everybody became a cryptocurrency trader or a stock market trader. Not, not everyone did that, right? So where are all the people? Well, they, they left, they moved, they changed cities, they went around and now they're reevaluating how they're earning. That coupled with a pattern that I've seen for the last eight years, and it's just been increasing and increasing and increasing, is the amount of private equity and Wall Street money that owns United States home inventory. You see, the housing market is usually dictated by buying trends. But when you have private equity companies, Wall Street hedge funds, buying up large swaths of inventory and holding that inventory, is that demand still natural or has it become artificial? 
artificial demand, right? So when you have artificial demand, what does that mean? That means that we are in a safe place as long as they continue to buy. So one thing that I promise to do for you guys, because I do own Keegley, Keegley is the, the largest wholesale operation operating in the country and every market that we're in, we're franchised across the country. We do, we do and look at more transactions than anyone in the investor space. And I say that honestly, right? I say that knowing our volume and knowing what we do, I can tell you that we'll be able to have our finger on the pulse of when things are gonna to start to kind of change a little bit. When we see hedge funds pulling back and stopping their purchasing, that's the first thing I'm gonna tell you guys about. The moment we see private equity start to turn a little bit or turn the faucet off a little bit, that'll be the time when I think we will start to see some price depression or some flattening out in the real estate market. So up until then, guys, we're on the bull. We're on the bull and we're riding the bull. And as soon as we start to see those things shift, I will talk, we'll talk about that. And then we'll talk about things that we need to do to protect ourselves. Is everybody, does everybody feel like they've got a good kind of bird's eye view of my take on where things are? Now, again, guys, that's my take, but I speak to some of the brightest minds in the business about this and that could I be wrong? Of course, of course. Could they be wrong? Of course, of course. A any of us could be wrong. But I feel that the evidence that we're working with right now um, definitely trends to the opinion that, that, I, that I share in that. So if any of you guys have any thoughts on that, I'd love to uh, open a dialogue and discuss with you guys, um, you know, what could be coming. But I don't think any of us are here because we feel that fixing and flipping is going anywhere anytime soon. Is that fair to say? Great. 